In this video, I show you how to take some really wet portraits in a small home studio. Hello, I'm Gavin Hoey and you're watching Adorama TV, brought to you by Adorama, the camera store that's got everything for us photographers. And today you join me in my small home studio, but you'll notice it looks slightly different. And I don't just mean the fact we've got some black fabric here. I think it's probably the black tarpaulin hanging up here and the fact I'm standing in a paddling pool. Yeah, I'm gonna do a portrait that involves splashing water. In fact, we're gonna freeze the water rather than having it blurry. We'll do that in a later video. And to freeze the water, I need flash. So I've got my Streaklight 360 in a small glow softbox. That would normally be the most important part for freezing water. But today there's one thing that's more important even than flash, and it's this. Today of all days, you really need to know where your towel is because this is gonna get wet and messy. I think I should have got a bigger paddling pool, but never mind. Let's get a model in, set some lights up, and we'll get shooting. So today I've been joined in the studio by Sam, who's gonna be the willing volunteer for this shoot. Now, as you can see, it's a little bit damp around here already because, well, I've told Sam what we've, we're gonna do. We've had a little practice because you really don't wanna spring this sort of shoot on your model. They need to be uh, prepared, I think, and Sam's uh, really brave to do this, I think. Crazy man, but it should be good fun. Now, in order for this to work, I said I needed flash, and flash is the critical bit for this. The idea is I've got a Streaklight 360 in a softbox. I want that to have a very short flash duration. The lower the power, the shorter the flash duration. Now I've set this to 1 64th power. I find anything under a 30 second power for the Streaklight 360 is enough to freeze the water in midair. Now that leaves me three things I can control. I've got the ISO, the aperture, and the shutter speed. Shutter speed, really easy. Flash sync speed, 250th of a second for my camera. ISO, I'm gonna shoot 400 ISO, so we're not straining the flash too much. We can get that flash power down. That means I need an aperture and we can do trial and error, or we could take a meter reading, but I've already metered this out. I know F4 balances this up. Now that's something called the exposure triangle. Get everything to balance and you'll get a correct exposure. Check out the Adorama Learning Center for more information on that. So we're gonna have a couple of different ways of getting water onto sand, but the first one is gonna be nice and simple and hopefully not too wet, because we're gonna get wetter as we go through. So uh, we'll start with the, the technique. Make sure it works before we really get water over Sam. And I'm just gonna start by pouring water into his hand. I say, I'm gonna do it, of course I'm not. I've also got, well, another Sam to help me as well. So Sam's gonna be pouring water. Sam's gonna have water poured into his hand. Let's try and follow along. Um, we've set this up, I know this works. I've already metered this out. Let's just take a, a little test shot, make sure everything is ready to go. Okay, yep, I'm happy with that. Right, Sam, if you want to pour some water in your own time. Lovely. So that worked okay, but there's a couple of things we can do to make this better. Now, most cameras, including this one, can do high-speed shooting. Whether the flash can keep up is another matter, but one of the advantages of having the, the flash power down low is not only does it freeze water, but it recycles really quickly. So I'm actually gonna put my camera into high speed shooting mode. So that's 10 frames a second on this. Let's pour some more water, see how we go. Okay, are you ready? Test shot first. Okay, Sam and Sam yep. on three, two, one. Fantastic. Okay, so it kept up pretty well until the buffer field, and that's fine, that worked really well. We've got some great shots in there, lots of splashing, that looks really nice. Now you might be wondering why I've got the light in from behind. Well, the answer is really simple. I like the direction of light, it gives a lot more shadow and a lot more drama to this shot. It also rear illuminates the water. And there's no reason why you can't have the light at the front. It will look different, but it could work. The great thing about this sort of technique is experimentation. And with that in mind, we'll just take a few shots like this and see what we get. Okay, Sam, do you wanna put two hands out for me? Fantastic. Uh, do you wanna put a little bit of water in there first of all, Sam? Yeah, that's great. Okay, are you ready? In your own time, three, two, one. So 
So for the second setup, we're going to get a little bit wetter. I say we're going to get wetter. Sam's going to get a little bit wetter. Sorry, Sam. Um, but hopefully it should be a much more dramatic shot because we're going to do a portrait. Now, I've still got my light in the same position. I'm just going to test the exposure. I know roughly what's going to happen. The idea is Sam's going to lean back. So let me just check the meter reading for there before he leans back because it's kind of hard work. I'm using my flash meter, it's still on F4, that's terrific, but I'm going to put this well out of the way. Water and anything electrical are a bad mix. Fortunately, my camera is weather sealed, so a little bit of splashing, that's not going to matter too much. But you will find splashes go a long way, and hopefully in one of my pockets, hidden away, is a small lens cloth. So lens cloth's really, really useful for this shoot. If you have any spots of water on your lens, it can really ruin the shot. Okay, we're good to go. Um, same technique, we're gonna get uh, water poured this time onto Sam's face by Sam. Uh, I've still got my high speed shooting. I'm gonna take a test picture first of all. Yep, we're looking good. Okay, is everybody ready? Yep. Okay, here we go, on three, ready? One, two, three. Fantastic. <laughs> now, towels are a really essential part of this shoot. Um, <laughs> You'll also notice that Sam is wearing black as well because it means that although you will get wet it's not going to completely ruin it for the next shot. If it was completely white then it would go transparent but black well it's going to have a nice shiny look and hopefully that should add a little bit to the shots as we progress getting Sam wetter and wetter. Speaking of which we can change this setup ever so slightly get a completely different shot. I'm just going to swing the lights around at 90 degrees, swing Sam around at 90 degrees and we'll do exactly the same technique. Okay, Sam, you ready? Okay, let's move things around a little bit. So for the last setup, once again, we have Sam in the paddling pool. Once again, we've got the light in roughly the same place as it's been for some of the other shots. But this time there's going to be a bit more energy because we're literally going to throw water in Sam's face. Sam's going to throw water in Sam's face. And if we get this right, we should get a great splash. Now, this is where the really exciting stuff happens. That's why we've saved it to last because it could go horribly wrong. It could get really, really wet. Well, let's just try it and find out. Now, once again, I'm going to take a test shot first of all. So let's get this set and make sure everything's where it should be. Okay, test shot looks pretty good. Um, right, so Sam's, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. On three, ready? One, two, three. Fantastic. <laughs> so I'm still doing the 10 frames per second and I'm starting to press the shutter just as the water's coming in, uh, and that gives us a nice selection of shots. Um, it's a good start, but for portraits to really come alive, sometimes it's the facial expression that makes all of the difference. And I don't think Sam's gonna have much trouble with this when I say, Sam, can, can, you, can you give me a bit of a yell? A bit of, ah! Okay, uh, Sam, don't aim at his mouth, because that would be really bad. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Okay, on three, ready? One, two, three. Ah! <laughs> did, did you get that on the audio? <laughs> Fantastic, let's just double check. That looks excellent. Again, we've got a lovely selection of shots. Absolutely brilliant. Now, water is a very unknown quantity. You can't really plan that much for it. Every time you do it, it's gonna be slightly different. That means we're gonna do it a few more times. I'm so sorry, Sam. But when you're wet, you might as well have a few more goes at staying wet. Um, by the way, I should point out, the water we're throwing on Sam's ordinary tap water, but we have at least warmed it up for him. So, a little. Okay, <laughs> are you ready? Okay, we're gonna do another yelly one. On three, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Thank you.
right about one thing, we really could have done with a bigger paddling pool or taking this outside if it wasn't so freezing cold, but a little bit of water soon wipes away, no damage done. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please leave me a comment below. And if you want to see more videos from myself and the other amazing presenters right here in Adorama TV, you need to be clicking on that subscribe button. I'm Gavin Hoey. Thanks for watching.